program for the implementation of the CMA into how to get. Uh, we were able to go through uh, the introduction to the course in the level two that we have. We have uh, gone through the open remarks, we go for the remarks, and we started to get the actual conversations and what. But um, after this, um, still on the previous proposal or preparation uh, uh, session, we will have uh, Mrs. Uh, Marikanda. She's um, the CEO of the Bank of Women's uh, Bank of Finance Bank. And um, that was followed by uh, Dr. Elisa. Dr. Elisa will look at um, uh, the definition of, um, of innovation and how innovators can capture the attention of others. Um, we will then end uh, the third session. Uh, which is the previous proposal of preparation and session with the question and answer plenary. After that, we'll go for lunch. After lunch, we'll start uh, from the last session, which is the third session, which will be the protection of the of proper plenary. And uh, to lead that uh, process, we'll start with the presentation from uh, Dr. Savona, uh, who is from Aripo. Uh, that session was uh, we will end with um, a, another presentation from uh, uh, the Labo, who is uh, from the uh, Women's Institute of the Ecco Bank. That will be followed by the question of the other We will uh, wrap up today with um, uh, the closing remarks from uh, the representative of the University. Representative of the University 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 of the Thank you, welcome. Um, again, as Mr. Mudu has said, I think we had uh, set out our target uh, uh, in terms of what we have been doing in the previous two days to do the ICT of the time, and um, also how we want to address the situation with, uh, with this issue. So, at this point in time, I'm going to call. Um, Mrs. Mankanda. Mrs. Mankanda is the CEO of uh, the Women's Bank, the Zimbabwe Women's Microfinance Bank. I think you've seen that bank along the way. Yes, that's the same She is an expert in terms of microfinance as well as uh, the financial services sector. She's uh, very knowledgeable in terms of uh, uh, proposals related to several other financial institutions. So she understands what is expected when it comes to proposal and what uh, financial institutions are looking for. So she's able to get in terms of what they expect to expect for financial institutions, not just for the ICT innovation grants only, but for other funds that you might want to um, apply for in the future. Um, I think Mrs. Mankanda and Joseph, uh, whilst they are sorting out the presentation to go on the screen, I'm going to um, start where I stopped uh, with the introductions. I'm going to come back to you guys so that you can hear the model of how we're introducing. You've got the model, right? Good morning. My name is Joseph Mankanda. I'm a student in Bristol Zimbabwe. I come from Gurugo, Sambo, and I'm here to present my talk. Good morning. My name is Takundua Sekereti. I'm a student at the University of Zimbabwe, currently studying computer science, and I come from Mashinde. I come in as a student, so I'm here to get the ideas from my peers. Yeah. 
Uh, good morning, my name is Yaraji Wamuda. I'm from a company called African Business Solutions Provider. We sort of software that um, uh, automate, that digitalizes and automates business processes. I'm from an interlab. Thank you so much. Mrs. Marikanda, are you ready? Okay. So, Mrs. Marikanda will take us on from here on the topic developing, crafting, and uh, pitching bankable proposals. Um, over to you, Mrs. Marikanda. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, thank you so much. I want to appreciate um, the executives, four trust executives who are here, um, my co-presenters, the most brilliant brains that are in here, in the form of you. Um, and they are all called, all called protocol. So all protocol observed, so I observe you. If anyone asks you a name, you are a called protocol. Um, she has just introduced me. Sibo is my young sister. So you allow me to. Hands in the same mic, from room. Okay. Then she tells us, and what is the way, you know? Um, so um, my assignment is very, very simple. Uh, just this is what we're supposed to be doing, but instead of being very technical, I, I deliberately decided I'm going to simplify things. And when we talk about um, crafting proposals, writing proposals, bankable proposals, um, I'm here, I'm at the Women's Bank. That's the title that you were given, the CEO of the Women's Bank. But I'll take you. Um, a few steps backward so that at least you start to appreciate me better. Hmm? Yeah. Um, my previous life, this is what I've been doing for more than 25 years now. I write bankable proposals. I craft bankable proposals. In addition to that, I'm also in a, an innovator. I'm happy I've got students who are from university. I'm in the microfinance sector uh, as a choice. I decided that I was going to do something different. When I was doing my first degree, I used to like to find solutions to problems. So I would do a lot of research work. My first degree, by the way, was in raw and urban planning. Um, I'm now doing my master, uh, sorry, I'm doing my doctorate. I should be done by next year. So, Mr. <laughs> Derera. <laughs> All right. I'm, try, I'm actually trying to do this so that someone, I'm not going to only pee, you know? When people look at someone, they just feel like, hmm, can you? I'm trying to prove so much that, you know, I'm, 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 I'm equal to the task. Um, so I'm, I'm actually, currently I'm sitting on about 684 business ideas that I have done small pitches on. I create ideas. I'm just gifted in that. When there is a problem, I come up with solutions. As I was coming out of my car, I wanted to just show you a few of the innovations that I did during the time of cholera. When everyone else is screaming, I get op opportunities for making money. At the end of the day, if it's an idea that doesn't give you money, it's not a good bankable idea. Okay. Mandipi mm waka? -hmm. Now we, we can move on. I will try to be very fast. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to try to embrace anyone here, but I think we have a problem uh, at our hand. Uh, the problem is that we have got people, who, we have got a fund that is there, we have got an opportunity that is there, that has not taken us. And I know Zimbabweans were very bright. If there is anything that I know about Zimbabweans, is we have got brilliant people, bright people. But zero out of 100, that's a problem. 
So I'll just start with uh, the issue of loan versus grant when we do assessments. Right now I'm going to take you into the inner room in terms of the, those who will be assessing you, what they look at. In addition to crafting proposals, I'm also very good at assessing. I'm, I'm a CEO of a bank. So if you come through, I'll tell you whether your idea is bankable or not. Uh, I have been uh, doing developmental finance for over 25 years. So uh, when someone walks through and you pitch your idea, I'll tell you this is a brilliant idea. I don't need 10 minutes. I just need five minutes as you're pitching your idea and I'll tell you this is bankable. So we have got loans and then we have got grants. It's very important when an RIFP, I'll define that later on, request for proposal is floated. You need to understand what is the requirement. If it is a loan, you need to know the obligations. Uh, this is the problem, uh, uh, Mr. Mchure just talked about that. In Zimbabwe, people do not care. Whether it's a loan, it's a grant, they'll just dive in. You remember the $5 million fund for the youth? Hello? Oh, we should talk, you know, we should talk. Um, let me just run through with you because I'm a financier. Uh, there was a $300 million fund which was supposed to go into microfinance. And uh, those who were handling that fund, they, they had uh, the highest level of uh, risk uh, assimilation. They, they, they didn't want to get in, a, a, to, to, to lend to this particular sector. They struggled with identifying what's needed. To make it wise, youth have specific requirements that you don't find amongst women, that you don't find uh, amongst the mature. Because youths are, are daring, they are suicidal, they are, yeah, they'll, they'll take anything. They are suicidal, sure they are. I have youths in my home who happen to be my offspring. The other time my daughter says, Mama, I just want to park your car. I know how to. Are you sure? Mama, she never lies. She, I, I trust that girl. Mama, and he, uh, he says, Mama, yes, yes, into neutral. Yes, I know. And then, uh, I know. Please, let me just park the car. We are already in the yard. So I gave him, I gave her the, 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 the the, I opened the door, she sat there and I said, Ma, Ma. You know, I was already like troubling her. And then I stood by and then she started the car. Lo and behold, Gumbom Tengi. The car was going towards the Juro. I've never seen such speed. And I thought I was running after her. I was actually running on once. You know, you would get so scared. And. And she came to her senses and her yeah, feet off everything. They were, they were, yeah, feet were not on the clash, on the accelerator. They were just up. And, and somehow the car went, kuchuru, kuchuru. And I just said, do you say, do you know? He said, mama, yes, I know. It's just, I don't know what happened to the car. But I know what I was doing. Um, from that day, I have said to her, you keep your distance from my cars. You should keep to the other end and I'll keep to the other end. This is why I'm saying you start suicidal. Because when you're young, anything can happen. Most when you're talking about green enterprises, you come up with an idea and you wonder, why can't you see sense in this? I want to draw your attention to the difference between a loan and a grant. A grant, we can let it go. A loan, ladies and gentlemen, you have to pay it back. So it's very important that when you start to pitch or to craft a proposal, you need to know what you want to get. Do you want to loan yourself now? Let me go back to the 300 million. 300,000. In terms of best practices in lending in the financial sector, I'm allowed to write off at least 5%. Right off is 5%. So if we were, before they even lend out their money, they had a provision of, lay, of writing off 5%. 5% of 300 million is what? 30 million. 15, 15 million. 15 million, they would have lent all that to youth, but they decided it's actually too much. So they decided to lend out 5 million, which is a third of what is proper. So it was a, a percentage in something which was allowed to be written off. Lo and behold, those who came and accessed the loans, they actually lived to the predictions. Yeah, they did. There are very few, some of them, the guilty as charged are in here. Because instead of, I gave my daughter my car, uh, 
the lender gave my son five million, five thousand dollars, five thousand. Or sort of butter fifty. And they give you five thousand dollars to come up with a business idea. Because what, what was needed was to pitch a proposal. They just pitched a proposal, and if the proposal seemed sensible, you were given money. Lo and behold, we lack integrity. What you said in the proposal and what you actually did were completely different. People bought cars, you know, label clothes, you know. All of a sudden, you had this swag, you know, this walk. I don't know where this walk comes from. Where does that come from? The bag is heavier? The way your wallet is heavier, you do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a better... I've never understood. When you want to know whether a youth has got money or not, you see the way they swear. Then you realize, hmm, and a bag. But that bag is borrowed bag. Unfortunately, that tainted the reputation of the youth so far. So I'm happy I'm talking to you because I can actually hit two beds with one stone. So that I then express to you why it's important to keep a clean name. When you come to the women's bank and you want to borrow, lo and behold, we have reduced, relaxed every condition. But we want you to know that we want to know who you are. If your name is soiled, you are unlikely to get anything. You may have been soiled in 2001, but that record remains. Am I talking to people? I know you no longer like me. So, these were the statistics, uh, proposals, that the request for proposals, the first round, six out of 188 proposals were successful. Uh, do I have those who were successful in here? I shan't ask who else applied. Because the part of the 188 are in here, but I shan't talk about them. Oh, we should do clay pens for that one. The one. Do we have another one? Somewhere there. Someone is hiding. We didn't say they were going to ask for money. From it. We know you already have money. But I'm told there were, there were more innovators who, who were successful in Arari. But six out of 188... If this was Zimsek, that's a said total disaster. And right now, I was just peeping into the second round of proposal, which is, this, which is currently going on. And lo and behold, the same challenges are, are, are being faced. Uh, currently, uh, when I did put this together, there were zero out of a hundred plus who were being assessed. Now we go to the next slide, which then says... Uh, we need to understand what is going wrong. Is it, could it be that there is lack of understanding of the requirements of the request for proposals? Or is it that there is lack of skills to present the proposals? It means this point assumes you have got the idea of what is required, but you just didn't have the skill. Then maybe it's the RFP request for proposals, which was vague, which was not clear, which attracted everyone, including those who sell mangoes. Or maybe there might be need to redefine what is innovation. Uh, my brother, they, uh, Dr. Chirisa, is going to walk through this, so I won't even waste my energy. Last time I didn't know he was going to present that, so I was going to walk through that. But he's going to do a good job to that. It's very important that we understand what the RFP requires, so that you then understand what the panel who are going to review your proposal will be looking for. Let's move on. Um, this, um, Mr. Jury has just spoken about those ones, so I'm, I'm not also going to waste my time because uh, we already know that's what we are here for. Let's just define a few terms here. It's very important uh, with this particular request for proposals that we have that we define RFP. You, you look educated, you know. You, you don't just say request for proposal. You say RFP. RFP. So whether you are going to apply or not, Matwanika Vib, RFP. So, no, 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 I'm just working on this proposal, the RFP, that was, and everyone looks, you look sophisticated. I know you love being sophisticated, so I'm inviting you to getting that one. There is a difference between a solicited proposal and an unsolicited proposal. A solicited proposal is this one, where they give you the template. I'm already going towards that. There is 
a solicited proposal. They are coming to you and they're saying we require proposals from you. This is very different from unsolicited proposals. What you then gave to Mr. Mjuruichi was saying others were requesting for grants from us. That's what we call unsolicited. No one asked you for that, but you've got an idea that you think can work. It's very important that when you have an unsolicited uh, proposal, you know where to pitch it and who can accept. Certain uh, requests for proposals, they are very clear. If you bring unsolicited, they will not look at it, no matter it's what will save uh, uh, Zimbabwe. So it's very important so that you don't just put your ideas everywhere when it's an unsolicited uh, proposal. A bankable proposal, I'll define that later on. Innovation, I've just moved on. Uh, I've just talked to you about that. Um, this is what we are doing right now. When you get a request for proposals, I'm just listing. I'm, I'm actually doing the most simplified way. I'm not going to be technical. The only thing that is taking out that I've just tried to look jargonish is the RFP. But everything, we want to simplify it. I'm hoping, my, I always don't want to waste my energy most of the times. I'm actually hoping after this, someone is going to be a guru. You need to know how to craft a proposal and you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I didn't learn it in class. I didn't learn it where, but the invention is the necessity is the mother of invention. If there is a need, then you need to know what you look at. The initial steps, once you get a request for proposals, please read the request for proposals thoroughly. Thoroughly. I struggle when people go to, uh, when they don't listen, when you're talking to them, because when they see you, they see the CEO of the bank. So if they have an anticipated response from me, they will be answering questions that I never asked them. Some, someone comes up and says, yeah, I think I can do IT better. Because according to them, they think their solution, they found a solution. Because I hire people. So when they see me, we are relating, we are supposed to relate and get to know each other. They are already assuming she smiled at me, I think she likes me. And the boys, you know this game better than me, eh? I always struggle with the a, a gentleman goes around with his chest out and says, ah, she likes me, she has a crush on me. Who told you that? <laughs> it's because you, you, you misread things. Please read scripts thoroughly. When someone is smiling at you, it just means they have teeth and they're just being sociable. Don't go and come and tell me, Mama, I've got your mora at home. Where is she? I haven't talked to her, but I can one. Ewe! Anyway, I'm a mother, so from the women's bank side, we are social, so we don't end up with the technical issues only. We also touch the social. Did I touch something there? Yeah, we don't crush on anyone. And this idea of falling in love, when you fall, you normally don't fall with a formula. Falling is falling, you tumble. It's better to grow. I shan't go there. Um, read the RFP thoroughly. Uh, I encourage people, it's not a formula, but that's what I do, what has made me to, to always pitch, uh, come up with the best proposal. When you have read it, once is not enough, twice is not enough, three times is not enough. When I've read something four times through, it's like at the tip of my fingertips. I can actually tell you, part one says this, part B says this, the keywords in this RFP are one, two, three. What does the word examine say? You need to define terms as you are reading through the RFP. Don't be too greedy to swallow anything. There are times when RFPs come and they look like there's also symbol, but they will tie you down. Most of the responses that I found is that people got annoyed because they were turned down. No, Potras did you a favor. If they give you a loan when you don't require it, you are in dire stress. I don't know if you're like me. There are times when you see something and you say, now I'm going to eat this. Then after eating, you've got this bad feeling. You feel like, ah, why did I even eat it? That's exactly how you feel after you've taken and contracted a loan and you are not able to repay it back. And you tie your security, your uncle's vehicle, and your mother's sofa. That's not a good thing. Every time she'll be praying, she'll be, God, oh, my son oh, has killed me. We don't want that happening. Is it a bankable idea? I'll talk about that later on. Okay, do you have an innovation? Let me just talk a bit about this. 
uh, your innovation, you might have an innovation. It's okay if it can't fit in the framework of the, this current RFP. I don't know, I'm, I'm already going beyond my scope. Because someone will feel like if it can't fit into this RFP, then I throw it away. Zimbabwe is so huge. There are other opportunities out there. So if you change an idea, this is what has made me to come up to those ideas that I'm talking about. I realize I'm, I always have this word which I tell people that as you tend there, we currently like right now, for you to go and sleep with Nakumere Ngamari. I'm talking about Kukaunda Mari. Hey, you can't stay with the loan when you can't make money. You must make money somewhere. No one is going to employ you. Employ yourself. Practice what it means to employ yourself. I do. I'm a CEO of the bank, but whatever I earn is not enough because I know what it means to be extravagant. I know what it means to give. I know what it means to play with money because I'm Mrs. Marie, by the way. My Marikanda, so I'm called Mrs. Marie. What you declare is what you become. So I own money. Every coin that Kobo you have is mine. So you need to make money. So that innovation is very important. It may not pass the test of this particular scale, but keep it and then broaden out. You become more relevant, not just for portraits, but for everywhere you go. Time permitting, I'll talk to you about that later, so that I just broaden your scope. So that I can, when you leave this place, I'll be having employers who can employ themselves. How clear are you on your idea? It's full loop. You have an idea. But as you are pitching, talking to me, you don't have to stutter and stammer because if you are stammering and stuttering, it then means I, I, I can't buy into something that you haven't mastered. That's why we read four times before you master something. Um, are you able to develop the proposal yourself or you need someone to help you? There are people who just subcontract for no particular reason. Create the framework on your own. You have already been given the template. I'm, in a moment, I'm just going to take us to the, to the template so that we go through the RFP as it was, so that we just pick a few nuggets from there. Um, if you are not uh, clear about your own idea, then who can be? I struggle when people, uh, this goes to my daughters and my young sisters here. I know this pity party is not a good thing. When you expect, you have a sense of entitlement because I'm youth, they need to help me. No, no, in the banking sector, we don't do that. It's either you qualify or you don't qualify. Because when you are, when you are in default, it doesn't matter you are 20 or 39, it comes back to dollars. Portfolio at risk, non-performing portfolio. So you don't want portraits to be and labeled badly because of your actions. So you can't come and say, I'm a young girl, they need to understand. No, 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 no. We are where we are right now because of merit. You don't get into those offices simply because I'm a woman, because then you'll be subject to abuse. And the way that you'll be subject to abuse. If you can't live up to what you're supposed to do, go and shape up, do it, but earn it. Don't expect the panel to lower their standards because this is affirmative action. We need to give a girl now. If we give you, then you default. Then what happens? You don't even need to know who are the evaluators who are part of that team. I have a problem with people who want to peep behind the pot that is cooking. Say, will Sibo be part of it? Mr. Mijuru, I need to be nice. I just brought you this amateur B. I thought you would like them. This element of bribing things, earn your way through. Don't bribe your way through. I don't know why I'm saying that. I never say that in Ulawe. Pitch the idea to a trusted confidante. Yeah, your idea will be stolen. I always say life is not fair. This idea that we need a fair game, fair game, it means you already know that you'll lose. Yeah, you're trying to make the stronger one feel like, okay, okay. No, no, if we are punching each other, we just have to punch. So if you're busy trying to cook, I'll just pick you by the neck and I put you on the other side. This is a capitalist environment. Someone is trying to make money and you go with your unbaked cake ready to go. All what is left is just put it in the oven. Someone will say, go and play, I'll, I'll bake it. And then they'll say, this is what I've made. And you say, it's unfair. That, that word unfairness was invented by the weak. 
Allow me to say that. It was invented by, by the weak, trying to make the stronger give space for them. Sorry, gentlemen, I'm actually in, inviting you into the real world. I sit in boards, I sit in, I chair boards. I don't have to, I'm a person, I'm, I'm not a woman. Uh, this is a, it, it's an overall for, for the work to propagate life. But the one who is inside is a man. As a human, not man in the sense of, you, this man is also, that's your overall for propagating human, human, uh, human race. But inside me is the real me. So that me is what is expressed. We have got a sharp intellect. So let's not hide on the package. Am I saying something? Yeah, I know you don't like to hear that. All right. No, before you go to that one, let's go to our... We'll just walk through the... Um, yeah, that's the one. This is what you got. Um, if those who haven't seen this one, it's okay. I wanted to go to the top part. We are now talking about the template, the proposal template. Others, they come, they come, they, we are, a request for a proposal is floated. You are not given a template. It's very important if you want to be good in coming up with bangable proposals, that you are aware of what template is required. In certain circles, if you just change anything on that template, your proposal just fails. If you don't address the right person, the proposal fails. So it's important to pay attention to detail. So when I get the request for proposal as it is, that's my Bible. That's what I print. And then I start to uh, scribble on it. My understanding. I put notes on it. Let's just scroll down as we go. I had 45 minutes. I'm not so sure how will offer. Notes to the applicant. This is very important. It's, you are seldom not provided with this. Every time when there is a proposal request, they will give you these notes, guidelines in terms of what you need to do. Now you hear them telling you, please fill out this form and submit via email to. It's a violation if you submit to Mr. Mjuru. I don't know whether you understand where I'm coming from. It may be a very good uh, proposal that you have crafted, but extra information that was not requested for, please don't over-volunteer. Or look why is out here. I'm known by the director general, so I'll just do blind coping, blind coping. We don't take it kindly when that happens. I don't sit on the panel, I'm just saying as an evaluator in my other world. Then instructions are following. Please ensure that you have provided all the required information prior to submission. When this statement has been given, you don't send in your proposal in piecemeal. Just like you do with your tender documents. If they request for you two envelopes, that's what you'll do. If they say it should be sealed, that's what it should be. If they say it should be addressed in black, in black pen on the extreme corner, that's what you need to do. If they say type, whatever, that's what you do. Follow instructions. Um, it says, says any willful suppression or falsification of the required information will render the application now and void. I want you to know that in Portras, they have got a legal department. Plagiarism is a criminal offense. And I know some of those proposals, they might even have, they might realize that they copied, this is Econet's idea. This is mini Econet. Now this is all. Now this is what? It means you are plagiarizing. If you didn't know, that's okay. But you risk being disqualified. But in addition to that, you are playing in the dangerous uh, ground. Always try to pitch what is originally yours. If it is not yours, then qualify why you think that innovation can be attributed to you if you are adding on value along the value chain. Something that you are going to do differently. Acknowledge if someone else is there. Um, I'll just take us to the project details. This is what you saw. If we got zero, if we got six out of 188, everyone who did uh, submit, they went through this. So what I'm trying to do is to walk through for us to do the right corrections. I didn't ask you to lift your hand, did you do this? But if you didn't uh, do it perfectly, that's what we're just going to do. Because if I had done that, definitely I was going to, 
I was going to win. I just needed someone with an innovation. Then I do the crafting of the proposal. Then that's where we then go. Project summary. This is what it is. A summary is what it is. So when we have printed this, you need to know what a project summary is. This idea of shrinking a page, you change the font. Uh, 14, 11. Then he says it's a summary. They'll just see that it actually fits off the page. You are shooting yourself in the foot. Please provide a short description of your project and what your innovation or technical solution does. Symbol. This is where the ball dies or it, 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 it we score it. So you need to be able to summarize. I know some of us, we are gifted. Women have got more words than men because we're entitled to socializing uh, the rest of the world. So we speak more words. And then, you know, you know, you know. But when it comes to summarizing your project, we don't need to see the gender part of it summarize put clear facts what would you want the people normally when these come through this is what we look at first you just do a snapshot what is the summary of this project what does this idea stand for who is the market and how scalable is it and when that happens you know they say this is a gold mine we start to dig further so if you fail here you have already dis done yourself a disservice what is your innovation i know he's going to talk about that but i was going to go with that to then say you just don't come up and say yes it's an ict innovation i think others are innovations but in this particular case they require ict related innovations so that's what you need to do um, project description. Describe your project in greater detail, explaining how it makes use of ICTs. There is the summary, which summarizes almost everything. They didn't give the words. In some cases, when a request for proposal is given, they will say, in 25 words, summarize your idea. You need to then know that this and, and plus and then and how they are counted as words. Find a way of crafting sentences that are holistic and making the person who is reading satisfied with information. Project description. Describe your project in detail. Okay, what I was doing, someone is wondering, why those read? I'm forgetting that I wasn't with you the other time. When you get an RIFP, you need to highlight, this will be my marker, my highlighter. I'm highlighting, but in this particular case, when I got it, I then started highlighting it so that I see the critical areas that I need to focus on. It must be a short description. It must be uh, described my innovation and solutions that it brings. There must be a solution. So whatever I'm going to say, I'm going to say I have this solution with the name, of course, which makes sure that you will not come to the conference and all this is going to happen but I'm using ICT in very few ways but very clear and simplified you may attach images with your submissions to illustrate the project if possible screenshots and short videos or applications or photographs the phototypes there are times when you need to know you may not know who else is applied it's very important that you you supply information when they have asked you you may it means the door is open. If you decide not to provide, it's up to you, but you're shortchanging yourself. So if you then realize, I may provide a screenshot, what does it tell you? There must be a visual. So what are you going to give as a compensatory measure if you don't provide it in your proposal? Because someone is already anticipating. You know, when you are, when you are a, 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 it's not an invigilator, someone who, an Omaka exam, there are times when you are marking, you feel like you are taping your foot, you feel like this guy knows what he's doing now. And the other one, you feel like, oh, oh, is this an A or it's an E? You already put off the person who is marking your paper. What did I do? Okay. Oh, there we are. What did you do? Okay. Market definition. Remember, this is a loan. And they want to see how scalable your idea is who is going to be the recipient of your idea that should generate money a good idea on its own is will not win in this particular case there must be mula 
Something that shows the gold and Midas touch that is coming from your idea. So there must be a recipient, a market, whose problem you are defining. There must be a, a problem somewhere. So all the problems, the innovations that I would come up with, there is a, 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 a problem. And then I come up with a solution. Then the next thing is, who would want this solution? And how much can they pay? When I have more monopoly, then the better. If I don't have, I'll say 50 cents, that will do it. But then I'm going to scale that market to then attract many people. If I then say, okay, 50 people, but in Heathcliff, I'll need about 4,000 people. I already am demarketing, segmenting my market. Indicate how easily the innovation can be developed and how fast it can go to the market. This is where your financials will be derived from. Because if your idea is going to take two years to develop, it can't be part of this RFP. So don't force things that can't be. You know, there are people who drag other people's energy so much to a point that, you know, they will come to you and say, but you need to have understood. You, know, you don't plead. This idea of trying to, you know, you, you need to know Ms. Mtewa. This does, uh, we, we didn't get the sense. If you find that I haven't got any idea, it's possible that I'm very dumb. Go and polish it up again. And come and do a repeat. But don't overtire people. To a point when they see you, they are going this way. They say, oh, okay, I'm going to in, back into the office. And they realize, oh, they are coming. I'm going to the toilet. And they'll be stuck in the bathroom, playing with their phone, waiting for you to go. That's not a proper thing. Uh, indicate how is it is for potential customers to deploy the innovation, taking into account time, change of behavior, and the speed of technological advancement. If you had included this in, kunema dollars, kunema market yacho, and how, it's, how easy it is going to be. So in your write-up, as you are writing up, there must be a point where you are actually responding to this. So your proposal is responding to these key areas. And as the people are doing the evaluations, they are just ticking. Uh, is it indicating, how is it, is, is it for customers? The customer is it being defined, then you put thing, things through. Let's run through. Uh, let me go to social impact. This is where Zimbabwe is going to. Um, let me go to sustainability. Sustainability is talking about where your project is uh, and how it, where it will be 10 years, 5 years from now. We don't want fly by day uh, issues. Technological impact, this is what you do best, but I highlighted it as very important. I wanted to go to this part which says funding. What you require. This is where the dollar comes in. You can't define this unless you have defined the rest of the highlighted areas that I've just indicated. I'll go back and summarize with my PowerPoints. It's very important that you define reasonability in your funding requirements. Someone will just come and say, I need to buy cables. They will cost about 500000 you need to have said what, what are those um, inputs, how much do they cost, so that you don't appear like someone who just wants to gormandize, who is greedy, who wants to fund the purchase of their hammer. You, you can't have your lifestyle changed by a loan. You can only have your lifestyle changed by the income that you get from the loan. So in developing this, it's very important. I'll, I think this will be readily available. A bankable proposal will consider a unique idea, problem solving, scalability of that idea, market segment. Which market are you focusing on? The profitability of that business idea of yours. We must be able to then say we are projecting a minimum of 40,000 in about five months or in, in a year. Then we'll say no, 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 no. You're not making money. You actually lose because the other uh, parameters that will change. You then look to look at liquidity. This is where we are saying you're starting from somewhere. Yes, it's a green enterprise. But how liquid are you? Uh, quality of management, customers, technology. Have appropriate documentation. I just want to emphasize on this. Um, I'll just go to the last bullet there. Documentation for your proposal. They want to know how much money you will make so you can't do without a cash flow. Don't just cut and paste from someone's project. It must be uh, scrutinized. 
projected financials for us to know whether it's going to be bankable to make money you can't release money unless you know that money is going to come back you projected financials so play around with other partners people who know how to craft those for you because you are an ict person you are not a an accountant Commitment letters, they can also help to make your voice be heard. There's someone who has committed themselves to work with you. There are partnerships which you have, been, uh, you have put in place. Then if you have a bank statement, if you have got lease agreements, if you have non-disclosure agreements, when you put these together, I, I find that exciting. You're just going through, you realize, this is what I just wanted to, to share with us. Um, then... If it's a green enterprise, something which is new, make sure that you do a mini feasibility study. Feasibility study, I'm saying how feasible is your idea coming into reality. That will inform you when you start to write your proposal. I don't have time to run through this, but others think of feasibility study as something which is complicated. Right now, if I go around and say, Brazilian, how can I make civil... Um, take on a Brazilian and my brother here. There must be a way and no chaga need you And then I'll then say he's prepared to pay just two dollars for the Brazilian. So we need to look like I'm already coming up. So by the time I pitch my idea, I know who I'm going to talk to, how much they can pay and how prepared they can continue. And you no longer have anyone to sell to. So when we're talking about feasibility, start demystify it. Make it simple. Start with simple things. That's how you get uh, information. That's why I called it a mini feasibility. And then in skill sets need, needed, uh, you need to understand the RFP, attention to detail. You need writing skills. If you don't have any, don't just be eloquent. I know most of you here, you're actually wondering, hey, English sounds like it's from Ashwingo. Yes, it is. Uh, but yours, I know it sounds like it's from Britain. But match your eloquence with your writing skills. The people who can write at times are not that eloquent. Create an opportunity for that. Practice and practice. Then presentation, you need to be very careful when you present information. Otherwise, you put off people. Uh, the, you, you go, yeah, I'm very bright, you know me. No, 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 you need to have life in you that others can have. So the way forward, I think you can do corrections with this RFP. You can also practice a lot. No matter you are not submitting it to uh, portraits, but also collaborate. One idea can be joined together with others. Don't be greedy. Try and work with others. With those many ways, I hope it will help someone. Um, my background, like I said, if you need help in any other life, feel free to get hold of us. That's what we do. We call it moonlighting. When everyone is sleeping, we make money. Thank you, Mrs. Marikanda. Thank you so much. We appreciate your presentation. A round of applause for Mrs. Marikanda the CEO of the Zimbabwe uh, Women's Microfinance Bank in Zimbabwe, and then also a CEO of her own business. I think uh, you, it's evident that she's run a business before. Um, did we get something from it? Did we benefit? Yes, okay. Um, so we will go to the question and answer session. Before that, I think Mr. Tripanura, from, he's a finance guru. So I'm sure he's got something to add. Okay, thank you very much. And sorry, Sir, for, for before you go into the question and answer section, I, I want to, I just picked up something. In the, this is a very pre, uh, important presentation that Madam has done. But I picked something that we have come across in, 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 in the first round and in the second round. And we, we, we hope to... To, 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 to have uh, you know, applications that will avoid that. But that, it's not something that you can do it in an instant, but it's something that you must develop over time. One key thing that we have uh, found in the assessments is that there can be a project, very good, very good idea, but the, 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 because we are not administering this as, as portals alone. We are administering the financial institutions, eh? And when you now go to the financial institutions that are our partners, you find that those people in there that have applied have got certain lacunas with the bank bankers, eh? So what I want to ask you to do, 
as you develop your careers, as you develop your projects and everything. Be honest people in your lives. Just be honest. Just like if it, this is more about loans, the area that she talked about loans, very critical. If you develop a habit of getting loans from bank A there, uh, do whatever she said, you must not do, run away, you don't pay, you, you go another one and so on. It will all catch up with you because at the top of everything, in financial institutions, they all share information. If you are blacklisted, you are blacklisted across the, the world. It, it will stifle all your ideas because the ideas are there, uh, uh, the innovation is very good. But the financial institutions have blacklisted you. And if they do that, the, the only choice that Potras might have if we continue to sponsor that is to agree to say we are now taking the risk, you as a risk. Well, the banks are saying no, this one we don't take. But we then have to underwrite ourselves to say we, we no, I think we can take the risk. And that, that will be, it will take something for us to do that. So what I'm simply saying is for, for those that are already in business, you understand exactly what I'm saying. But for those that are still young and who want to develop business, please, as you develop, I know, you know, there's a very thin line between a business person and a, a crook sometimes. But you must make sure that you, you don't soil your reputations particularly with the issues relating to loans or anything across the board, just to work morally, uh, just be morally upright as you do your business. Because it will always catch up with you. And sometimes it catches up with you at a point when you are already very well reformed and you are actually having very good ideas that can propel you forward. But the, those things will always catch up with you. So when, wherever you have got any borrowings or anything, even when you get into trouble, the banks, the financials, they know, engage with them. Continue engaging. Don't allow a situation where they blacklist you. Because then it closes a lot of avenues. Not just for this project, but a lot more in your life. I, I thought that I would emphasize that so it's a very critical point. So as you come for applications, please make sure that that side is sorted out. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's uh, Mr. Chiripanura in Dodge Kwamache Kuputra. So he knows because I'm sure when the banks call, they call him. And they, uh, they, they register those kind of dissatisfactions in, um, you know, with our applications. Uh, I think as he said, no lacunas as we develop our proposals. It's a very important point uh, for us to take and to take down. So I'll take uh, some questions right now. Jose, you can assist me with the microphone. Um, these are questions to either Mr. Chipanura, uh, Mrs. Marikanda, or Mr. Mujuru, the presenters. Right there at the back, I think there's somebody at the back there who has a question. I'll take three and then have, allow them to respond, then take another three before we go for tea. Uh, I know at that corner you had not introduced yourself, so you had the model, right? Yes, so first introduce yourself and then you can ask your question. Uh, my name is Tendai Kawaza. I'm, creative of, I'm from Creative Africa. We are into animation and video games. But uh, there's something that I'm actually seeing here. Are you sponsoring startups or business that are, people that are already in business? Because if they're saying that they want uh, bank statements to apply for this, uh, funding. Uh, it's better I don't come to you if I've got a bank statement already. I'm, all, I'm already making money. Okay. I'm coming to you to get startup capital, not for you to finance me with working capital. Okay. I think there's, there's some sort of misunderstanding there, but it will be clarified. But thank you for asking that because some other person might actually want to know that. The next question here and then there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, you're taking. <coughs> uh, Tapiwa Chinyaz again, I've already introduced myself. Um, mine is more of a comment rather than a question, uh, but I'd be curious to know if this exists um, in your innovation drive. Uh, I was quite struck by the numbers that you gave us in terms of 
uh, how many how many applications actually succeeded from the applications that are there 188 applications six successful that's a three percent success rate uh, which is quite striking I'm sure that's the reason why you're having this this uh, workshop in the first place but what I wanted to find out was is there anything that exists right now to bridge the gap for those applicants that may, may have failed on a technical issue or whatever it is, uh, but, or it could even be an issue of inexperience, needing hand-holding, so on and so forth. Is there any uh, procedure that exists right now to take those kind of applications from where they are to a place where they can actually meet the requirements of, um, of, the, of the loan applications? Thank you. Um, sir, you're the last one for now, and then we'll take another three after they've responded. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for the presentations. I found them uh, very enlightening. Now, um, this one is particularly uh, relating to the last uh, presentation by... Mrs. Marikand. By Mrs. Mari, yes. Um, you Mrs. Mari. Oh, that's your <laughs> new name, Mrs. Mari. You talked about um, RF... Uh, RFPs. For, 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 proposals, uh -huh. uh, but one thing that's particularly important for me when I'm looking for funding, whether it's a loan or a grant, is to know when I'm likely to get funding. And uh, unfortunately, I haven't applied for this particular fund, but it's something that hasn't been spoken about. What's the turnaround time? Because I, I'm already running this enterprise, so I need to know when I'm likely to get money if I am successful, so that I know how to uh, do my cash flows and operate my business. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I think those three questions are for Mr. Mjuru. Um, Mr. Mjuru, clarity on those issues? Okay. Thank you very much, um, uh, Mrs. Marikanda, for, for the presentation. And uh, thank you for, for, for the questions. Yes, on the question of um, whether we, we, we are supporting start, startups or existing businesses and uh, whether bank statements are, are required. Uh, we, we are supporting both startups and existing businesses. And um, the, the, the loans that we are currently giving, they don't come with any, any, any collateral. You are not expected to bring any collateral. You are not even asked about your, your, your bank statements and, and things like that. So, so, so really we are supporting startups and, and existing businesses. And um, how do we assist those that have uh, failed to, 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 to make it um, in, in the, in the um, calls that we have already made? For, for those, um, what, what we are doing, we, we acknowledge that um, like um, um, uh, my boss said in his uh, opening remarks, we acknowledge that um, our rate of response has not been as I uh, would have wanted to, mainly because of um, uh, resource constraints in terms of um, um, the, 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 the human resources within the department that does innovations drive. Um, but he, like he said, it's an area that we are addressing. We are setting up a, 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 a separate department that will focus mainly on, on innovations. And uh, to the extent that um, it will be um, uh, represented at, at the highest level um, we, within, within the organization. So, so um, that's an area that we, we are addressing in, ter in terms of capacitating that, um, that, that, that area. And um, for those that have applied, we are, we are responding. Yes, it's at a slow pace, but we, we are responding. And uh, I'm sure some of you, those that uh, have received um, the responses, especially those that um, applied last year and to those that applied uh, in, in May, sorry, in April this year, they, they, some of them have received their, their responses. Like I said, we are working on those um, that um, uh, applied in May. Adjudications for those uh, have been done. And uh, I'm sure uh, after this workshop, we'll start um, uh, sending out the responses for, for those. As for those uh, who applied June, July, August, and, and September, um, adjudications are still in progress. 
And uh, once um, we are through with that, we will be able to respond. And the way we are responding, we are actually highlighting the areas where a particular proposal um, failed to, to, to make it. And uh, requesting that uh, the, the, the applicants uh, work on those areas and resubmit for consideration. We are not saying when someone has, been, has failed uh, once, they, they, they should not retry. You can always retry until you are successful. Okay, when do I get um, okay, funding um, when I'm successful? Yes, um, when, when, um, what we are trying to do is um, if it wasn't for, 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 for the constraints that I talked about, it is our wish to, to do evaluations on a monthly basis. By that, what I mean is um, all applications received in April, for example, we will be evaluated in May because we, 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 we receive applications for the whole month and then they are evaluated in the following month. So that, that's, uh, that's, that's what we, we, we are trying to do there. But uh, once um, your application has been successful, um, adjudications have been done, we'll then advise you that your application has been successful. Um, we invite you to come in for a discussion on um, how to start accessing the, the, the funding. Funding will be dispersed through, through CBZ. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a process that has also taken time in terms of uh, putting it in place, but it's, it's now in place. Uh, um, innovators can access their funding through CBZ. For the first six, we had to do an intervention where we had to pay uh, the first milestones um, um, through, through portraits. It, was it wasn't done through the, the bank, but now everything will be done through the bank. I, I don't know if I've done justice to, to those questions. I think there's some, a point that Mrs. Marikanda wanted to clarify. Okay, I, the purpose of that presentation was to give us skills, softer skills, on how to craft, develop your uh, proposal. So if you remember that one, it actually says supply information, if you have. If you don't have, you don't have to worry. But I'm just saying it's an advantage that you have when you have information, make sure that you attach it. It's, I hope that is very clear. Yes, I think it's, it's like uh, somebody advertising and saying, I want a general hand. A master's degree will be an added advantage. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's an added advantage. It's not necessarily like something which is a, a written on stone or a, 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 a real requirement, but it will be an added advantage to you if you have it. I think we've got some clarity on that. Yeah, you look uh, happy. Anyway, next lot of, of uh, questions, we start there, we go there, we go there. Okay, I can see you at the door. Uh, you go to the next lot. The, the last lot will be the your two plus another one. Um, and then we have to go for tea. Somebody was telling me that Taninza. Okay, go ahead, sir. Is, is it on? Hello? Yes, okay. that's All it. Right. Uh, thank you very much to uh, the presenters and, and Portras for organizing this uh, very informative and educational um, workshop. Uh, I've got just uh, two questions that I wanted to uh, just find out. The first one is when you look at the numbers, right? When you look at, uh, say, um, six out of 188 were chosen, I think it's also a bit of a challenge if from the other side, because if the other side of Portras and whoever is adjudicating, they know the numbers they want. So maybe six out of 188 could actually be good because maybe they want to get, they, they want 10. No. Or, you know, so it, it, it now then, you know, depends on how it's then demystified. To say, if, you know, you know, the innovators know how many will be chosen or how many are required, it's easier to just, than just, just give a number, you know, um, out of nowhere. That, that's one uh, question I had. And then the next question I had as well was, um, I attended the last, um, the, you know, the first edition of the Innovation Drive that was here at HICC, where the president was there. 
And what oh, book? Oh, the launch. The launch, yes. So what boggled my mind there was, it's the first time I've ever seen it everywhere, uh, in my travels all over Africa, that people get a check, and it's only written the name of the organization, and there's no, pro there's no tag to it. So I was like, is there any particular reason why, you know, people should not know why, you know, what other, you know, other innovators, because that's also like a big motivation. So I no, found, uh, in my question, I, and I mean, I had, in my head, I just had question marks on that. Okay, Mr. Mjuru will respond to that, but state lottery doesn't declare that you've won $10 million, otherwise they'll go after you. Well, this, 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 this <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying, Mr. Mjuru yeah. will give you the details on that. Um, next one. Um, Your name, sir? Um, Tawanda Maruza. So my question is, from ideation stage to realization stage, where does Sport Trust come in? Sorry? Like um, most of these tech startups that we have, uh -huh. it starts off as an idea mm -hmm. up until it becomes a full scale launch. Yes. So, my question is from ideation stage to realization stage, at what stage do I approach Portras? Okay. I think you got that, Ms. Amjuru. Okay. The other one is uh, right there at the corner. Okay. The microphone is coming. Josie, can we have the microphones back? Hello. Um, thank you, Portress, for providing this platform. My name is Sean Chikato. I am the head of infrastructure by Kulipay Technologies. Um, my chief is Chief Utete. Mm -hmm. I come from Mapondo mm -hmm. Village, mm -hmm. um, Chivi District, mm -hmm. Shishamane, and Mashingo is the province. But thank I was born you. in Harare. Thank you so much for, for sticking to the model. Okay. Mm. Um, my question is, um, will the funds be displaced in a FCA account or an RTGS account? <laughs> that's, that's actually very, very, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Um, I'll just qualify my statement and say that the Equipment. main reason is that with some of um, our Equipment. organizations or startups, um, we interact with international APIs and we have international stakeholders. So this is very important to know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Manostro. Yeah. Mr. Majuru. Um, thank you for, 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 for those um, questions and, and comments. I'll start uh, with the one on um, target number of um, applicants or um, the target number of innovators. There is no target number. If a hundred people apply and they all qualify, a hundred people will get support. There is no target number. The other question was um, why the checks did, did, did not have figures. When um, adjudication is done, it's not always that um, uh, the applicant will get what they applied for. Uh, if you remember well during uh, my presentation, I said some people were applying for, um, for, for support in terms of salaries for themselves and maybe their spouses. But uh, you may see that um, this proposal is a good proposal, but uh, the innovator has included those things in their application. The adjudication team will then determine how much to give to, 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 to the innovator and subtract some of those things that are not covered by, by the drive. And uh, before we, we issue out um, or, or before we disperse the funding to, to, to the successful uh, innovators, we call them in. We sit down with them. We advise them how much uh, the fund um, has been approved for, 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 for their proposals. And um, we then request them to, 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 to uh, provide any, any input that they may have to, 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 to the whole process in terms of coming up with, with the figures. And at times you find that uh, what the adjudicators have recommended and what the innovator finally get is, is different, mainly because of that interaction with the innovator. And um, 
if you look at um, the proposals that we got last year, uh, they were only able to get funding 